Well, as this Black History Month draws to a close, a local writer and photographer has made it his mission to preserve a part of life in New Orleans he says is vanishing, like on bars. He says they are more than just a place to get a drink. They are a community gathering spot and one that he's, has worked to chronicle. Our photojournalist Mike Milan talked to him. I'm El Casimo Harris, a writer, photographer, and artist based here in New Orleans. I started the project in 2018, Vanishing Black Bars and Lounges. I noticed that many of the bars in New Orleans were closing. I just felt that I had to document what was going on because I was wondering what would happen to culture when it's displaced as far as the black masculine Indian, the second line uh, and social aid and pleasure club. that started it all was St. Bernard Avenue between Claiborne and Basin and North Rampart. And every time I traversed through that area on St. Bernard Avenue, I noticed that it was about six black bars. One day in maybe 2017, I noticed that it was only one black bar left. Uh, the other place, the Goat, Sydney's, uh, all these bars had become white bars. And I just knew that uh, it would be a very a, a great shift in culture. So I wanted to document that and tell that story and go into these bars that sometimes people think are just ordinary or unimportant. But I knew that beyond just being a place, I wanted to examine the, the people and our ephemera and everything else that goes along with uh, being a black bar. I think it's vital that they remain if we just talk about culture, and culture is what drives New Orleans, particularly black culture, be it the food. The music. The dance. When these bars begin to close, usually each social slave and pleasure club or uh, black masking Indians, they have a bar that is their home bar. So when that bar closes, what happens to that culture that was practiced there? Usually it's displaced and it has to go somewhere else. And as the neighborhoods continue to change, I wonder if it will become these practiced cultures a nuisance. I want people to see what happens in these bars. Whether it be the pictures that hang on the wall, the rules that you see on some of the bars that's on the wall, the scribbled and handmade signs. If these bars go undocumented, uh, the stories that happen, the history that happen, it just goes with the people who carry them. And when they are no longer with us, who's to tell that story? Things change, and I think we do evolve, but things shouldn't be erased. The bars are closing faster than they're being opened. Uh, so I don't think it's done. I think that they'll always have a bar, but I think we deserve more than a bar. I think these bars need to be sustained and invested in because they're important to our culture. And our culture is something that has influenced the world and continues to do so. And again, that was shot by photojournalist Mike Milan. Harris will open an exhibit of his photos at the Ogden Museum of Southern Art on March 14th. His photos are also on display at galleries in Pittsburgh and Arkansas. We have a link at his website, or to his website, rather, at WWLTV.com.